Hi, Year 13. I hope you're well and keeping safe um, during this um, really, really strange time. I can't believe we've been locked down for five weeks now. Hopefully, fingers crossed, it'll be over soon. I uh, just wanted to go through a few messages, key messages for you guys this this term, for this term, and what you guys can do um, to keep yourselves busy. Um, and also, before I do that, I just wanted to give all of you a massive um, well done for your PP2 results. They were absolutely incredible. Uh, both myself, Mr. Clark, and all of SLT are super, super pleased with, with what you guys achieved. And the progress score for you as a year group is absolutely off the charts. So amazing work for that. Just want to give some shout outs um, to particular students. Um, and these guys are the ones um, for outstanding achievement. Um, I'm just going to run through them very quickly. Aaron, Amrita, Anna, Aomi, CG, Chelsea, David, Dibbin, Dominica, Eleni, particularly psych, Finley um, for his media and psych, Emmanuel, particularly maths, Jayan, Jess, Natalia, uh, Natalie, and Swizzle. Okay, well done to all of you. Results were absolutely outstanding, guys. So, really, really pleased. Um, also, want to give a shout out to others who got really, really um, solid results and also showed a massive improvement from, from PP1. Um, so, Andrea, Arabella, Ben Loft, Keris, Chanel, George, Grace, Hamza, Henrietta, Maya, Milosh, Raf, uh, Nikki, uh, Rupert, Ruth, Saf, Vanya, Veronica. And um, Ben Baffle as well, guys. Your results were also really, really, really good. Really pleased me. So um, well done to all of you. Um, for those of you that perhaps didn't achieve the grades that you'd like to in, in either particular subjects or across the board, um, you know, maybe a little bit, bit anxious about that, I just wanted to, to reassure you that um, your predicted grades um, that count sort of towards your, your final um, grades by the exam boards uh, will not just be based on your PP2 results. They're going to be based on what your teacher has seen over the two years. Okay, so um, any PPEs you've done, any graded essays, um, your classwork, your revision notes, your general attitude to your, to your learning. So please, please, please don't stress yourself out um, if you didn't quite hit the grades that you really wanted to um, for, from your PPE2s. Um, having said that, um, I think it's going to be really important um, for you to provide as much evidence to your teachers as possible um, of your work from the last two years, whether that's PPE papers, your any exam questions or essays that have been graded, your exercise books, revision notes, all of that stuff um, you need to bring into school um, so your teachers can use that as evidence just in case the exam boards okay, um, ask for to, to see your work. Um, as proof of the grades that the teachers have allocated to you because obviously as teachers we want to be as positive um, as generous as possible and give you as high a grade as possible um, you know so the more evidence we have to support that the more likely the example are to agree okay so um, Mr Stapleton put a video up on YouTube um, I hope you've seen it if you haven't um, school's going to be open tomorrow and Tuesday from 9 till 2 and for you guys to come and drop in your work. Um, you need to enter by the canteen. Okay, go straight into the hall, find your name, which will be on one of the tables, and then leave your work in a la clearly labelled bag or box. Okay, and then obviously um, leave straight away um, by the side door of the hall um, and round, okay, and back out of school. And just make sure, okay, you're keeping two metres apart from everyone because we are going to stick to social distancing while in school. Um, and please don't organise to come in with friends or groups of friends because obviously that defeats the point of the, of the social distancing. So, um, but like I say, tomorrow and Tuesday will be the two days from nine till two. So particularly if you have not achieved the grades that you perhaps wanted um, or needed for university entry, uh, I think it's been really, really important for you guys to bring in any work okay, that suggests you deserve a higher grade. Um, particularly, like I said, particularly PPE to um, papers, oh, sorry, any PPE papers and any graded essays or um, uh, exam questions that you've done. Um, I'm in tomorrow, so it'd be great to see as many of you um, as possible um, in the hall. I'll, I will be there, so we can have a chat and, and see you guys, how you guys are getting on. Um, so yeah, there we go. Um, I think next thing is um, just what, what key messages moving forward, what you guys can do this half term. Uh, to keep yourselves busy. Um, I believe I sent 
Um, those of you that are up to Fifth University, I've sent you an email. Um, but now, if you haven't done so already, you need to make a decision on your your UCAS um, and your uni offers in terms of uh, what is your firm and what is your insurance. Um, and then once you've done that, you need to start getting yourself prepared for university. I sent a letter out. If if you haven't, um, so I sent an email out, and also I put um, a note in the newsletter. Um, it, with lots of good websites and resources and things that you guys can be doing okay um, to prepare yourself for university even though you're in lockdown there are still lots and lots and lots of things you can do to prepare yourself okay um, I will send that email again today for those of you that are going into work and not going to university I think obviously things become a lot more difficult due to the lockdown but um, I think you know key things make sure um, you've got your CV ready make sure you know how to write a covering letter Okay, um, and I would I would start the job search as soon as possible. Um, it normally takes quite a lot of time, and there's going to be lots of competition for jobs. I think it'd be really really important for you guys to, to do a lot of research into those jobs, into the companies you're applying for. It's really really good to to know all that stuff. Um, any questions? Anything you're not sure about? Please just just send me an email. I'll be happy to help you out. Um, and then finally, last thing, and I'm dragging on a bit, um, is uh, the kindness and wellness challenge that I put into the, the newsletter. A couple of weeks ago um, it's in this week's as well um, I want to see as many photos or videos of what you guys have been up to during lockdown I've only had one person so far so big shout out to to Ola for for sending in photos of her baking her cooking and her painting It's really really uh, really great to see what you guys have been up to um, just to keep myself busy really because uh, it is getting I'm running out of things to do so please 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 send me as much as you can about what you guys have been doing during lockdown um, finally um, I think that is everything. Um, like I say, I will be in school tomorrow. Um, any questions, anything you're not sure about, please email me. And I look forward to, um, to hearing from you all soon. All right, guys, take care. Keep safe.